Sierra Leone has a population of more than six million people. Currently, there are only three eye doctors in the entire country who are performing the desperately needed sight restoring operations. Kissy Eye Hospital lies on the outskirts of Sierra Leone's bustling capital city, Freetown. The hospital was established in 1984 by American United Methodist Church missionaries Dr. Lowell Guess and his wife Ruth. In the mid-2000s, the Kissy Eye Hospital buildings were refurbished and upgraded, thanks to generous donations made to CBM. An essential element in this upgrade has been to develop the skills of Kissy Eye's high-quality personnel and to increase the hospital's reach to the poorest people. Given the extreme shortage of trained local personnel in Sierra Leone, CBM recruited British ophthalmologist Dr. John Buchan to be based at Kissy Eye Hospital in Freetown. We're here for four years with uh, CBM in Sierra Leone. I didn't come alone. I came with my wife, Anne. Bye. My two boys, Josiah, age three, and Callum, age five. And this morning, John and the team are traveling six hours to northeastern Sierra Leone. They will perform more than 20 surgeries in two days, restoring the sight of some of the poorest people in the country. Yabu waits in the long queue. She's 30 years old and has been blind with cataracts for nearly three years. Yabu and her husband have walked the long journey to the hospital, desperately hoping something can be done to restore her eyesight. Her life has been tough. Only two of the four children she has given birth to are still alive. For the past year, she has been completely unable to work on the farm and she has never clearly seen her 10-month-old baby, Mariama. It's a long day for John and the team. The hospital's power generators keep failing, which has slowed the work. Despite the difficulties, the team has already performed 19 eye surgeries this afternoon. Finally, at 9 p.m., Yabu is on the operating table and a cataract removed. Early next morning, there is excitement at Masanga Hospital. Yabu and 22 other patients wait anxiously to have their bandages removed. As the patch is taken from Yabu's eye, she at first shows disbelief. Can I really see? Her eyes adjust to the light. Momo, she says in her local language. Thank you. I am seeing my baby for the first time. John and the team carefully remove eye bandages from the other patients. <laughs> After receiving medicines and a checkup time, Yabu, her husband, and her daughter start on the journey home. Yabu walks independently. She can see again, and she no longer needs to be led. She can return to being a mum farming and community life.